Hi guys, hello and welcome to another video. I am back at home and that is really stressful. I don't know why I didn't shut that. Yes, I am back at home for a long time. So I wanted to film a video that I would thought about when I was at uni, so obviously I couldn't do it. Um, so I wasn't at home and it is to show you guys my mahoosive vinyl collection. My first one is Wham. Um, obviously it's very sad because George Michael died this year but basically Wham are one of my favourite bands from the 80s. My mum was really into them and I love them as well. She had this little um, video cassette we used to watch when we were younger of like loads of like Wham music videos and it was really good. And there, yeah, this is their I mean, this is one of their most popular um, albums. It's the Fantastic album. And it's got stuff like Club Tropicana and Wham Rap. So yeah, I feel like this was, if you were a teenage girl in the 80s in Britain, then Wham would have been a feature of your life. Okay, another favorite that I mentioned in my music video the other day is of course Queen. I love them so much, this again is their most iconic album I feel, it's got all their songs on it and obviously this is one of the pictures that you see a lot such as Bo Rap, No One Bites The Dust and it's fantastic, I love this album. The third vinyl again I want to show you is probably not something that everyone would own but it is my Meat Loaf Hits Out Of Hell vinyl. Now, Meatloaf is quite um, a favourite of mine and, I mean, obviously I like album covers that are pretty and which I'll show you in a second. So, I wouldn't really say this has really got anything pretty on it, but obviously that's just Meatloaf for you, he likes that sort of design. And I don't mind because it's still got some great hits on it. Um, you can see that obviously this is, was 99p from Oxfam. I don't tend to buy vinyls as much anymore, but when I did, I would get them from either car boot sales or from charity shops. They um, obviously are quite cheap. They range from like one pound to two, or like literally at a car boot, you can get like some for like 10, 20p. So yeah, I would recommend going there if you're into vinyl collecting. I really have quite a thing against um, modern vinyls being released like they're so expensive and obviously i understand if you're willing to pay that for like a new artist that's been on the scene and has their own vinyl release but in terms of like old artists and they're like iconic albums you can literally get them on ebay or just anywhere for so cheap this is one of my favorite album vinyl albums that i have it is the Grease musical soundtrack. It's so pretty. And one of my favorite things about these um, vinyls are that they have this. And it's just pictures from all of their favorite um, scenes. And, and it's just really nice. Like, I have a few of these um, vinyls that open up. But yeah, love them. Again. This is another classic, Elvis Presley. He is a great musician. This is another one that opens up. And with older albums like this, I think this is what they used to have in them. I'm not too sure though. Like they used to have a little bit about um, the songs and here he is looking all good. And there's your track list. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. Like, and again, you have them on the back. This is definitely one of my favourite vinyls. It's like the first one I owned and I love them. Okay, so you guys are probably like, are you okay? And yes, I am okay, but I secretly have a little thing for Tom Jones. Who cannot love that man? Look at him. Look at him there once again. I just think he's so cool. Like, I don't know why. He Honestly, some of his songs that came out in the like, I think this is the 60s slash early 70s, are really good. And again, he is a hot piece of, look at that. <laughs> oh, it just makes me laugh sometimes. That is another thing about vinyls, you just look at, you wouldn't get that on a CD now, let's be honest. Amazing. This one is a bit um, broken and stuff. And I can show you actually what a vinyl looks like in case people really haven't seen. 
So obviously you have like side A and side B. Now, um, basically, when me and my mum were like really into collecting vinyls, she found that a person was selling like, it was so many, it was like a hundred, I think it was a hundred vinyls for like five pounds or something, it was crazy. And so she got them, but obviously some, some of these vinyls were like so weird, they were like the Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles soundtrack. And we were going through them the other day again, um, just to get rid of ones that we didn't need. And I found this one, and for those who don't know, this is a very special song for me and Jack, um, Take a Walk on the Wild Side, and this is obviously the album cover that comes with this vinyl. And yeah, Lou Reed, I don't really listen to many other of his songs, but Walk on the Wild Side is very special to me and Jack. So that's why I have this vinyl. Uh, yeah, um, who doesn't have an ABBA Greatest Hits soundtrack, and can I just say, who doesn't have a vinyl player and doesn't have this exact album it's got all their greatest hits like everyone loves a bit of ABBA it's so good it's so good oh this is quite cool actually instead of like that way it's like that so yeah ABBA are obviously one of the greatest bands to have ever existed so I'm gonna have to own it on vinyl by them the very best of Elton John and I love this vinyl uh, just because it's got so many amazing songs on it by him like he is just an awesome artist and I love him to pieces this is one of the albums that I got for myself rather than like being my mum and she was like get this album you really like it so yeah I love this album okay guys <laughs> Where would I be, how could I be Disney president without a Aladdin or any Disney vinyl? Um, okay, this is one of the exceptions to obviously paying more for a vinyl, but this was a present, my first Christmas with Jack, he got me this. And I love it, it's just got Aladdin and Jasmine on the back and the genie on the front. It's um, got all, this, all the songs from Aladdin and oh, it's just so beautiful, like you don't really get vinyls that have like actual pictures on the disc or I'm really saying these words wrong so I do apologize but yeah on like the actual vinyl itself so it's a pretty fabulous one to see the genie going round and round in the circles this one um you guys may I'll give you a hint anyone know what film that is well it's Robin Hood Prince of Thieves and I can't remember what year this came out. 1991, I think. But basically, the song, anything, everything I do, I do it for you. It was at number one for months and months and months. It was crazy. And I obviously had to get it on vinyl. Um, Again, I can't remember what these are called. So please don't hate me, anyone who's like, how can you own a vinyl player and not know what they're called? But I feel like they're called six inch, I don't know, I'm so sorry. But basically, again, they are just um, single tracks with one on the front and one on the back. And obviously I've got Take On Me By A Ha, Blondie The Tide Is High, I actually really like that song. And a classic Beatles Love Me Do. Another absolute 80s classic, t Paul people I don't know and China in your hands this I got for my 17th birthday from Jack's friend Charlie and um, it's just a Beatles rock and roll music volume one and it's got stuff like twist and shout etc on it it's a really cute my friend Hope got this for me and actually it's quite funny so um, who is aware of the now that's what I call music I feel like we're on the 90s now like I don't even know there's been a lot of those tracks coming out and I actually have now that's what I call music for number four what was on now that's what I call music number four let's see we've got I'm trying to think of see one. Ray Parker Jr. Ghostbusters. It's pretty cool. It's it is obviously they do this now in like the little booklets that you get at the front of the CDs. 
but back in the old days they used to put the albums and all pictures of artists like this to explain who each song was also like who the hell is this pig on the front like is that meant to be cool because it's a pig so oh well um oh here that now this is what i call a michael jackson classic thriller now everyone knows that come on eileen is my favorite song ever so i'm obviously not going to own a vinyl player without it on vinyl um again this is just the ones that have like a couple of songs on side a and side two side b so yeah this is the iconic cover for the song we've got two more um no we haven't got four more vinyls to go through so thank you very much for sticking with me again um these are actually my two favorite beatles albums ever so this is why i want to show you them this is actually the first vinyl that i so when i got my vinyl play at christmas a couple of years ago my mum got me this one it's the sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club band album look at them <laughs> I love it. Honestly, this is one of my favourite Beatles albums. All the songs on it are so good. Like, it's actually got on the back all the song lyrics to each of the songs on the vinyl. And this one is very special to me again. It's kept in mint condition, as you can see. It's got one of the covers on it. And my friend Harvey gave this to me for my 17th birthday. Um, it's got... I'm not too sure... It's got the 1962 to 1966 songs on it, so that is um, quite when they're young. I love the fact it's got them slightly younger on the front and then older on the back. Funny thing is that um, then for Harvey's birthday, I got him the blue album. So we have the same, but not. It's Liza with a Z, a concert for television starring Liza Monelli. Now, um, it is literally just like um an audio recording of a concert she did and she Liza Minnelli if you don't know she starred in the film Cabaret um which is a musical and I'm pretty sure she's done other stuff as well so please don't hate me if I don't know what that is but I don't know this is actually just such a, it was one of those vinyls that you can like listen to the whole way through and for me because obviously she's like a musical star she just has so much like charisma and stage presence and i believe this is my grandma and granddad's um so yeah she's just really good and then she's got pictures on the back from the um when she was at the performance last album that i want to show you guys is something that i actually got for my birthday my 18th birthday from jack it is a johnny cash at san quentin album and this is like the album which had Folsom Prison Blues on which is one of my favourite songs ever Um I don't know if you guys have seen the film Walk the Line but it's basically like a Johnny Cash biopic and me and Jack are just really into Johnny Cash now, we love him, he's one of our favourite artists that we know together and yeah, this is a lovely album that Jack got me for my birthday that's all my vinyls that I want to share with you today. I love vinyls. I don't really collect them that much anymore, but it's so nice to have my favourites just there when I need them. And uh, these carrier boxes are like so good. They just store them in so well. So yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye! Hey guys, now I know I said bye, but I thought I would show you what the vinyl is actually like on the vinyl player as well. So please stay tuned in and I'll show you how it works.